Alright, so I have an iPhone 8 Plus here with a backlight problem. I've never done one of these before. So I'm going to kind of walk you through the process in which I take to do these repairs. Um, first thing is, let's see. Okay, so as you can see, it is a little bit darker on this side. See it? Yeah, you can see it darker on this side right here. Alright, um, the screen is cracked, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug and put a new screen on there just to make sure it's not the screen. Alright? So let's disassemble this thing, and I know I think somebody said, "Oh, how do I disassemble? I don't know how to disassemble it." Well, hey, there's 10 million different links out there to show you how to disassemble an iPhone 8. So just do that first. Um, all my videos are assume that you know how to do that first. So if you don't know how to do it, there's millions of other other videos on how to do it. And I'm not going to go through how to do that on, in every video. So this is really strictly micro soldering related. So it's not uh, uh, how to remove a screen. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna remove the screen here, and I'll get. I'll come back. Ugh. Okay, so this is a brand new screen, and as you can tell, it is still dark. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go diagnose now. All right, so let's. See. Okay, so this is the LCD connector right here. Um, so what we want to do is find the since this is a plus model we want to find the, the back load um, the backlight lines on this connector and if it's the same as the 7 plus then it should be these 6 right here so we can just kind of click on it and then we can kind of see yeah it says cat1 anode cat2 okay so this this the this is one system and this is the other system okay so we're really concerned about the anode line so we're going to do the middle two pins. So we're going to go to diode mode in our um, multimeter here and then we are going to diode mode this one which is showing OL then we're going to diode mode this one which actually is going to be this one showing 0.51 okay and then we'll just do the cathode lines as well so the cathode lines are both 0 0.608 and then the anode line is 0 0.516 on this side and then the cathode line is 0 0.608 0.0608 for the other cathode line and then the anode line is OL. So we know we know which one it is. It's this one that's busted. So we will click on this pin and then we will try to find out where the filter is and um, if it's the same as the 7 then it's going to be right there. Okay so it's most likely going to be this Let's see, zero ohm resistor right here, okay? So that's what we're looking at right there. So this is this is a zero ohm resistor. So instead of filters, they use zero ohm resistors. So it's most likely this get that's going to be bad. So we have to disassemble this iPhone and uh, go to the back of it and then replace this one resistor here, okay? So I'm going to pause it and then flip the logic board and disassemble the logic board and I'll be back. All right, so we have disassembled the logic board, and as you can see, the filter is actually kind of in there somewhere. Uh, kind of sucks. So uh, I don't know the best way to do this, but I think I try not to cut anymore. But I just don't think there's any way around this. So I'm gonna see if I can just trim this right here without breaking anything, and uh, maybe just kind of trim the corner here where it's not really necessary, and maybe keep it inside the head, inside the break here. So I don't have any jagged edges coming. And then maybe I can kind of desolder this mother a little bit. That's not good. All right, let's see if I can do this without breaking things, man. Okay, I mean it's not bad. I mean that's just how it's gonna be. Let's be take this off. Yeah, we'll just put some tape over it, kinda hide it a little bit. That's not gonna affect much. We just don't want any jagged edges sticking up because sometimes with a tri-star replacement you'll you'll get this thing uh so you can tell it looks like it's already black, so let's just double let's just check it, see if there's continuity across it. There's not then. 
Right, there's no continuity across this, so there should be. Uh, so we're just going to remove this and then replace it. Uh, it's a little bit blurry. Why is it so blurry? Why is it so blurry? Let me see if I can maybe... It's not that. It's got to be this. Right, something's blurry here. Weird. Anyways, I don't know why it's so blurry. If I can zoom in a little bit, it won't be as bad. Okay, it's not bad. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and use our tweezers here. Um, where is it at? Right there. Let's just get a little bit of flux at the end of it. And we're going to jack this up. Remove it. And then I really want to tin it first. Just a little bit. Just like literally just a little bit, man. Okay. That's tinned enough. So Let's find out what this is and then we will replace it. So, it looks like it's a 0201. 0201. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, so you can buy these from digikey.com. If you you want a direct link, just go to microsider.com, click on parts and supplies or something like that, and then there would be a direct link to Digikey on how to find it. Yeah, I could probably do a little better with a little bit more flux. Maybe. Okay, so that's good to go. Let's just double check it with our multimeter and make sure there's continuity across it. Okay, now it's continuity and then we can also check diode mode just to make sure that that's actually not ground. So, actually, so we're going the wrong way here. So, 0.51, 0.51. Okay, so those look like cathode lines, and then that's the you know line. Uh, I, I think I suspect maybe this is, yeah, this must be the other backload line. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove a little bit of the flux, and then I guess we can probably put a little tape on it or something. I don't know. We don't need, we don't really need to do it, but probably better. Um, we definitely don't want this thing. Like, problem is, so we want to make sure this is smooth otherwise like sometimes it pops out and it starts jabbing into the charge port and then you're going to start running into some issues so that's not a good thing so I think yeah this is not good uh, so I'm just, just going to kind of go like that with a little bit and just kind of use my finger and should probably file it down a little bit uh, if I can find a file let me go look for my file real quick so I have a really big file there. I'm gonna kind of just just follow it down a little bit. Uh, I need to find my better file, but okay, that's pretty well. No, it's still jagged. Okay, so we're gonna kind of. Jack this up a little bit and then okay and then we're gonna um put some tape over it some capped on tape just to kind of hold it a little bit so. let's 
so that's kind of what I've done. Um, you can double pad it if you want, whatever you want to do with it. Just make sure that that part doesn't stick up and poke into the charge port. So it's still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna kind of maybe double it, I'm gonna double it down right there. I think we're good enough. So it's not poking up anymore. That's going to hold enough. And then we will reassemble this mother and test it. So we're just going to re just going to reconnect the essential stuff. So. We'll do the battery last. I'm not exactly sure what these are. Maybe speakers. This is the charge port. Okay, so we're gonna pop this back on. You know what? I'm pretty confident about everything, so I'm just gonna plug these in too. And and then I'll I'll actually plug his screen on. Just to make sure everything's good. Okay, everything is plugged in. Let's get the screen in. Um, and if you want, you can actually you can actually dial and mode the connector again, but I'm not going to do it because I'm pretty confident this is going to work. So, so let's turn this puppy on. All right. This is the bonus part right here. Good. I think it's pretty good. Looks pretty good. So look, there you go. We're back in business. So iPhone 8 Plus backlight <sighs> repair. Uh, not a filter. It's actually a resistor, um, but it serves the same purpose. So, thanks for watching. I just wanted to say thanks for watching our videos on YouTube.com. If you are interested in learning more about how to repair these things um, and all the tools you need to, to repair them, um, I would recommend going to microsoldering.com. That's our website. And clicking on store. And we have a course, online course out there. It's about three and a half hours long. And it, it goes it starts from the basics all the way to data recovery. Um, I wanted to stress that this is really a basic course and it's not for people that have been doing this for a long time. Um, the course costs ninety nine ninety nine. Um, it's hosted at udemy.com and just go to the best thing to do is just go to our, go to our store and click on this link because you'll get fifty bucks off um, versus if you just do it through Google. The sad thing I want to talk about is we do have an online forum now it's free uh, just go there and post your questions so if you have a question about this video please go to this forum and post here I'm not going to be answering any more questions on YouTube um, because yeah because I think this is going to be centralized so just go here and then if you have any questions about tools and equipment you can look look at all the different packages here and and uh, basically everything that I get asked all the time. Um, you, can, you can go here and find out what I use and where to get all the parts and supplies and stuff like that. And if you feel like you don't want to do it and you want to send us your phone for repair, then just click on request a quote and fill out the form at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching and take care.